sir, yes, sir. I'm close to the green I've just killed all the AI at the general supplies with a hatchet. What? I kid you not. Hello everyone it's Mush here and today we've got a video here providing some tips and tricks on how to be successful at missions on the CCG servers. Now first thing I want to say is that we're not always successful at missions and no matter how good you are at the game sometimes you'll go to a mission and you'll still fail and you'll still die. That being said there are some things that you can do and anyone can do that improves their chances at missions. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the different types of missions. Um, there are vehicle missions, um, there are utility missions, uh, aircraft missions, treasure supply missions, but these missions can be broken down into two broad categories, the blue circles on the map and the red flags. Now the red flags are quite difficult, um, they usually involve either a vehicle or an infected camp or a mad scientist. A flag cannot be a treasure supply mission and then the blue circles they can be treasure, general, military now these two missions they they always spawn they have a pattern on the way they spawn so you can always know which missions up or which type of mission so if we're on the flag missions if the flag is on a road then it is a vehicle of some description whether that be a helicopter utility or armed vehicle if the flag is in the middle of a field it can either be an infected camp or a mad scientist. An infected camp won't spawn on the road just as the uh, vehicles won't spawn in the middle of a field. And once we've got the missions and they've spawned there are three general categories that, of missions that do spawn. Those three categories are broken down again widely into field battles, city battles and forest battles. Now the field ones they're relatively simple um, you know you approach usually from a tree line or from a hill and you snipe the AI a good distance city ones they they tend to be quite good actually I find those quite easy because you've got lots of buildings now the forest missions are the ones where I believe that most players have the issue because forest missions are where the AI really do strive so recently I've seen quite a few comments saying that AI are OP and I think it's got something to do with the, the forest missions. So although boxes won't spawn in the forest, the AI can run from the original location if they're engaged or on their patrol and they will run into trees. Now when in trees, this is where I think the AIs have a real advantage over players. Now if we think about the way that trees work in DayZ, Zombies cannot hit you when you're inside the tree itself. That provides some form of shield. But if you stand behind a tree, they can hit you if you're not inside the leaves. I believe that the way the AI work is based on a line of sight principle. If the AI can see you, they'll keep updating your position and keep engaging you. If AI can't see you, let's say you're behind a building or behind a wall, then they'll lose your position, you'll be able to reposition and shoot them. If it's the problem with the tree missions is that AI can see through the leaves themselves that they don't provide a line of sight barrier. Where we aim down sights we can't see through the leaves but they're not a solid object, they're not something that I think the AI are programmed to engage with and, and not be able to see through. So I think that AI, when you're in the middle of a forest, have a real advantage and can track you quite easily. This being said, the best way to engage AI in a tree environment is to make sure that you're taking cover. I would say try and get quite close to them because then you will be able to see them, peek, shoot. And if you don't get an opportunity to peek, 
just to stay where you are because what will happen is the AI will begin to push you and when they push they're not aimed down sights you can peek and shoot now quite a few times I've been in a situation where I shouldn't have been able to win at all I've had six or seven AI in front of me I'm behind a little tree and by using that tactic of waiting for them to move them peeking I've actually been successful at missions and the last tip I've got for you is a bit of a weird one which is not to aim down sights CCG have a crosshair in the center of their servers what that means is that that is very accurate I'd say that that's more accurate than me aiming down sights and trying to shoot AI so when you do peek to say time of you peeking trying to find your target by aiming down sights get your crosshair on position and peek shoot and then take cover again these tips won't always work for you it's impossible to give advice that always works and every situation on daisy is unique and that's one of the reasons that makes the game so popular to this date always approach a mission carefully making sure you're aware of your surroundings and the most important one i'd say is make sure that you aren't too greedy and that you know when's the time to back out that's all i've got guys if you've enjoyed the video please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video